Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think that it does not matter what his credentials are, he is going to stand with him and prove that he's better, they usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and in the overhand right, is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the game. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anti... You ready? You ready? two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. <laughs> nice stick with the right hand. Well-placed kick there by the long and rangy James Vick. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Head kick. Ooh, looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Going orthodox now. Nice stick with the right hand. Beautiful kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh! Beautiful body. Vic gets caught with that punch. Oh, big left. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All 25 total strikes have connected for James Vick. Under three minutes remain in round one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Good stick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Looking to land the right just out of range. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Vic. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork. 
What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Chase down that pick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That uppercut is. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Head kick. All right, we have now reached the final minute of round one. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. And he switches to southpaw. Jeez Louise. Beautiful strike. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, tags him with the left. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Final seconds here. Ooh, what a punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. This good. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many at all. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, whatever works, now he switches his stance again. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Vic's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. 
Missed with that attempt. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go here. Effective punch there by Vic. by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Fight the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Vic's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Vic gets caught with that punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big kick land. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh, big left hook there. 15 seconds. Missed with that right hand. There was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as 